What's up adventure fam? Today we're going to do something a little different and that is talk about how to use some of the special functionality within all trails. On all trails you can record your activity of when you're hiking, biking, or, or whatever activity you're really doing and then it kind of collects it um, into your profile. And what a lot of us want to do is we want to share our adventure and some of those things we want to share is like hey here's what the path looks like that we take. And as a blogger it's really hard to find the right software or something that's easy to share that path you took and make it look nice in a presentable way. Well, did you know that All Trails actually has this feature built right into it? And it's actually what I'm using on my blog. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how I embed my All Trails routes into my blog. So first things first, we need to decide what trail we want to put onto our blog post. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to alltrails.com and then once I've logged in, I'm gonna go and check out my activities. Now to get there, you're gonna go ahead and go to saved and then click on the activities option. Once those have loaded, these are all the activities that you have recorded within the app. So to make things easy, I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna do Shepherd's Pond Loop. This was one of the most recent trails that I visited and it's gonna end up in a blog post eventually. So let's show you how that's done. So go ahead and click on to the title of the activity. And once that's loaded, you'll have the summary and everything um, about the trail that you did. From here, you're gonna go ahead and click that share button. And that's gonna bring up some options. You can copy the link to this activity. You can send it in a text message. You could do an email embed or QR code. And really what we wanna do here is we want to do an embed, right? We're gonna embed it onto our blog. So here you can see, hey, Here's what it's gonna look like when I put it on my blog. And I actually really love that because um, you can see the path that I took. If I had taken pictures and uploaded them, it would show them there. As you hover over the map, you can see where the elevation is. So overall, this is a really clean implementation. And then finally, the user or the visitor to your site could click on my activity to see all the trails that I've done if you have a public profile, or they could click on the trail itself that you did to see the activity. Now, if you wanna change this up, you can do that too. And you can essentially have these three options. You can deactivate the zoom with a mouse, which means they can't zoom in or out of the trail. I like leaving that enabled so they can look around a little bit more. Um, you could hide the elevation graph if that's not something that's not important to you. So here you can see without the elevation graph. Um, it has a little bit better view, but I feel like you're missing a little bit of the details. Just a personal opinion. And then finally, you can hide your name. So if you click hide your name, you can see that it's not there. It shows Shepherd's Pond Loop twice, which is kind of confusing, but nonetheless, it's an option that you can take advantage of. This is what I'm happy with. I want to keep all of the default settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the copy HTML, which is gonna copy an iframe um, for us to put into our blog or our website. So I use WordPress as my content management system in my blogging platform. And so they have an option here that makes adding iframes easy. If you're using other things or have a hard-coded website, you know, this option is still available to you because an iframe is a basic HTML element. So you'll just have to look up how to add iframe or how to add HTML to my post in whatever content management system you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and click add new because I'm gonna create a new post right now and we're just gonna demo it just this feature right here. And I'm gonna say it is my demo post. And then in WordPress, they have this block concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a block and I am going to put in HTML. So I got custom HTML here. And so here you can write your custom HTML, but we already have it. It's the iframe information that we copied from all trails. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and you can see it is now there. Now you have two options. Um, you can have it show the HTML view or you could do preview. So you can actually see it in your blog post already. So I'll go ahead and save draft. And now when I click preview, I'm gonna go ahead and preview it in a new tab. You can see that I have embedded this all trails activity onto my website right now. So I'll go ahead and fill out all the details and I'll make a full blog post out of it and make it nice and pretty. But I just wanted to give the basics of how this is done. And you can see here, if we were to look at Bayside Trail, uh, a blog post that is more complete that's already been published, you can see I've got more trail stats, I've got the link to the video, and then I've got the embed for the Google Maps parking, and then we can get down here where I actually include the all trails embed. So the creativity is up to you. 
they make it very easy using this feature. And if you have any questions about how to use All Trails app or how to do this embed in a certain way, please drop a comment down below. I hope you found this information helpful. I love making these types of videos so we can all share our adventures together the easiest way possible. I hope to see you on the trail one day, and until next time, peace.